Hi, I'm Walt with West Palm Dog, and today with Bernie we're going to be working on the watch and the sit command. So what I do is I take a piece of food, I put it right in front of his nose to get his attention, then I bring it up to the side of my face as I say his name. Bernie, yes. Bernie, yes. Bernie, yes. Bernie, oh, I dropped that one. Bernie, yes. So what this does is it builds a strong positive association with his name and eye contact. So that way whenever we say his name, we want him to look for our eyes. Because if he's making eye contact, he's much more likely to follow a subsequent command. Now we're going to work on the sit command. Very nice one, man. Okay, so I have him here. I use a formula or, or like a protocol. I say his name, and then the command, and then yes when performed correctly. <clears throat> Bernie, sit. Yes. Notice how I didn't repeat the commands. I waited for it to be performed correctly, and then I gave him a treat. The next thing I want to work on with the sit is the concept of a stay. So what I'm doing is I'm giving him the hand signal for stay. Ah, uh -uh. if he gets up, I bring him back to where he was. I'm using my food just to bring him back. Put him back into the sit position. Bernie sit. Telling him stay, no treat. I wait for a few seconds then he gets the treat. I want him to understand that he doesn't have to do anything, he doesn't have to go anywhere, he just needs to remain still and he will, he will get paid. It pays to stay. Good job, my man. Stay. Yes. And then when I'm finished with the, the stay, I tap him on the head, say the word release, now he can get up and move around. What a good boy. Doing good for day one, my man. Oh my gosh, you are so big. Jeez. 